Kainga Order was created in 2019 by merging three public housing entities. Its English name is... Homes and Communities. That's Housing Minister Chris Bishop, who wants the Māori name to stay. Why are you using Kainga Order? Because what? That's, its, that's, its, that's how it's known, that's its, that's its name. Hang Gone. on, that's how it's known. <laughs> I, I know Waka Kotahi is Waka Kotahi. That's how it's known. That's, that's its how name. it's known and that's its name. Yeah. Can't we use the same logic? The Bish. Here we go. Page nine of his coalition agreement with New Zealand First, it says, ensure all public service departments have their primary name in English. There you go. So they have an agreement with uh, New Zealand First in their contract, ensure all public service departments have their primary name in English. They've, they've, they haven't highlighted the end of it. Remember that it says, except for those, I think it is something like, that are directly related to Māori. So if it's a, uh, if it's a service department, a public service department that's only for Māori, they don't have to. Kaying orders not. That's not just for Māori. That's not a Māori department. So it should be in English. That's the agreement, Mr. Bishop. Why aren't you changing it? Rename in English. But Bishop saying not his one. Kaying aura is known as Kaying aura uh, homes and communities. So you I don't know a single person who calls it homes and communities. But that's exactly what his coalition partners want. Significant majority don't understand that. Uh, it should be called housing and communities. That immediately allows people to understand uh, what it actually is and does. It's called Homes and Communities. Homes and Communities. Well, okay. <laughs> did you get that? You did you get? Did you get? Did you? Backer. Did you get how certain he was? The confidence he put out there is Housing and Communities, and it's not called that, Seymour. But the confidence he had—he really swung. He took a big swing at that one, and it's not called that. We look. We have to look at it again. You ready? Uh, it should be called housing and communities that immediately allows people to understand uh, what it actually is and does. It's called homes and communities. Homes and communities, well, exactly. Both New Zealand First Nations <laughs> want kind of more change to homes and communities. <laughs> uh, well, I haven't talked to Act or New Zealand First about it, so um, I'm not, gonna, gonna, not necessarily going to take your word for it, Lloyd. Well, we've got to get into the house for the meantime. I'll okay. show you on the camera what they How's say. that? A literal runaway. Lloyd Burr has just said, I've just interviewed your coalition partners. They want the name changed. The Bish goes, well, I'm not going to take your word for that, and runs away. That's what he did. He said, I'm not going to take your word for that and runs away. So we're talking about ructions, right? We're talking about all this last three years. Um, obviously, you know, speaking to an MP last night, Kieran McNulty, McElnulty, he seemed to think it would be very, very unlikely for it to fall over. But it's not going to be a smooth ride, is it, Chewy? Should we just put it that way? No. And every time I see Bish, what's the, what's the old adage? Um, you stinky, stinky poo bum. On, is that the adage? No, no, you see a turtle on top of a fence post. Yeah. And you're presented with a couple of questions. How did he get there? You realize he's been elevated way above where he should be and he's completely useless. Yeah. And, and that's what Bishop is. He's a turtle on top of a fence post. We need to get that t shirt. Let's keep going with the story. Okay, we're not going to go around um, pointing out small mistakes, but we'll get it right over time. But 20 minutes later, Peters pointed it out in front of everyone. Could the minister urgently put out a press statement explaining what Kaung or, Kaung or Aura means? Peters himself. He can't even say it. He can't even say it. Peters, Peters himself refused to translate. Oh, don't be so arrogant. <laughs> Matt, when I was around doing things for Murray before you were born. Many MPs well, also struggling. Now, remember, remember, I've, and I've already said it in the last five minutes, but we're being told by our government that 95% of New Zealanders don't understand the Māori words for departments. The English word for the department is what they'll understand. Now, that means, Chewy, is all of these people should know what the English word is because that's what they'll understand better. Right? Right? They, they'll be confused by the Māori name. They'll understand the English name. Called it um, Housing New Zealand. Housing New Zealand? Yeah. Housing New Zealand. I think a lot of these names are filigree. Well, are you sure there's no discontent with the New Filigree. Zealand First Act about the use of Kāinga Order? Uh, it's not a conversation we've had. The Prime Minister also coming under more pressure over this comment two weeks ago about public servants using taxpayers' money to learn their money. In the real world, outside of Wellington and outside the bubble of uh, Parliament, uh, people who want to learn te reo or want to learn any other education actually pay for it themselves. So therefore, he's confirming, and I haven't heard him ask this question yet, Mr Luxon, are you suggesting you do not live in the real world? Because you did not pay for it yourself. And what a lot of them are going to do in this next bit is they're going to go, well, I had budget for it. Yeah, that's that's not your money. 
that's taxpayer funded money. Mm. That's not yours to take in and, and spend on anything. That's not you. That's not coming out of your bank account. That's coming out of petty cash in your office. That's not you paying for it. But this is the little pivot they're trying to do because this is, this is, I mean, it's not as big financially as the Tesla debacle, but it's up there because he said, mm. you heard him, it's public servants in the real world pay for themselves whilst he's not paying for himself. And, and he keep is, banging on. He is a public servant. He's a yeah. fucking MP. Um, the other thing, and this is a bit of a tangent, and I apologize ahead of time. Uh, parliamentary press members, I know you watch this show. I, I, I want you to do something for me. If you are talking to the Prime Minister and he is holding his tongue in that way that he does, <laughs> that looks like a third lip, your job is to string out your question as long as possible so he looks like that for an uncomfortable period of time. Promise me, guys. I'm sure they're onto it. Let's keep going. Own Te Reo Māori lessons and many of his MPs. Have you ever taken Te Reo Māori lessons? Uh, yeah, I did take some lessons. Um, there was a course offered here for new MPs. Yes, I did. When I first became an MP, I took a small number of Te Māori lessons, which I funded out of my MP budget. You paid for them yourself? Well, that was all part of Actually, it was when I was working at the Waitangi Tribunal. So was it paid for by the taxpayer? Uh, probably was back in 1995. Uh, yes, I have. And did you pay for them? Um, they were part of my parliamentary service budget. He certainly seems to have a double standard. He sets one standard for himself and a different standard for everybody else. Do you know now the cost of your today or lessons? Uh, this is the real interesting one. Why won't he tell us? Why won't he tell us? Mm. I, I mean, like, I think this is a smoking gun until he eliminates it. Why won't he tell us? Is he paying a thousand bucks a session to be done at his house privately or something? I mean, like everyone has a spreadsheet, you know, everyone can just go and look at their business spreadsheet and find it. He won't tell them. He won't tell them yet how much his Te Reo Māori lessons have cost us, even though he said, if you're like us, you should be paying for them when he doesn't. He won't tell, he hasn't, well, I won't say he won't tell us, but he hasn't taken it yet. What are the cost of your Te Reo lessons? To uh, the my office is bringing that together for you. But four hours later, still nothing. Why is it so hard for your office to find out how much your to-do costs? Oh, look, they'll, they'll, they'll provide that information in due course. Yep. And that was four hours ago, and we're still waiting. The thing about that is, Chewie, it, it, it might be nothing. It really might be nothing. But again, this is these guys aren't good at optics. Like, no. you're already being proven to be a hypocrite about this, right? Proven, unquestionable now. Um, mm -hmm. So what you should be doing is cleaning up this mess as quickly as you can. Oh, yep, here it is. Get it straight away not sitting on it. If it comes out to be like not a big deal, like nothing really, then it just goes to show what, what you say all the time, that he's not very good at this. Because the optics are getting, because the optics are now you're a hypocrite and now you're hiding something. Now he may not be, he might just be slack, but that's what the optics are right now.